What's up everybody? It's January 1st, 2023 in the Big Bear Valley, Big Bear, California area. It is 32 degrees, 11.04 in the morning. And remember the 18 inches we could have had by this time? There's barely an inch out here. I mean, I even said maybe like four or five inches as it started yesterday. Not even that. To be fair, <coughs> I did have about three or four inches. No, about three inches at my house, but then just rain. Just rain, rain, rain. These conditions have to be horrible for the ski resort. God, I feel so sorry for you guys who who came up here and anticipating all this snow and trying to have a blast. Like, it's just, I'm so sorry. They just never get anything about the forecast right, ever. And the crazy thing is, you guys, is last night, right when I went out to record that video at like one something, it had just started snowing. It changed from rain. And literally, right when I got home, right when I was, right when I got home, it changed back to rain. So I basically only, I got basically the only snowfall, luckily, like, like very luckily. It's just so sad. I know a lot of you take a lot of time off of work and come up here to get price gouged when we have snow and at least you're hoping for a big amount of snow, a winter wonderland type of a thing. And this isn't, this is just horrible. Cause it's, it's really nasty too. Like it's, it's wet, nasty slush, nothing to write home about. I mean, as much as our town needs to be making money, I don't think they care that much because they build parking lot after parking lot to give you the like longest lines you could imagine at these ski resorts. So, you know, as much as I want you guys to come up here, uh, those of you who didn't leave yet, who are going skiing and snowboarding, the good news is, is, uh, well, I mean, the forecast never right. So, but it looks like we do have a little bit more snow coming. Um, today obviously on and off the next few days so let's keep our fingers crossed that we do get pretty much snow only because then it'll be okay at the ski resorts but right now at the ski resorts you guys I, I'm telling you it's got to be just the ugliest conditions if you fall like you're just gonna like fall into like half pile of rain and half snow. It's such a bummer, you guys. But we're on Big Red Boulevard. And we're gonna go for a short little drive. It's not gonna be a super long drive because not really any point right now. Okay, perfect. Sounds great. I'm telling you, myself, when I was a kid, I probably would have been crying at this point because I would have been looking forward to the snowstorm and coming up here from the beach for so long. And that's all I would have been thinking about was snow and skiing. <coughs> so I can't imagine how some kids are reacting to this. Right, 
on that snow line. We're like at a really horrible elevation when it comes to Southern California and our atmosphere here and, and snow. Just horrible. I mean, it still looks nice. Don't get me wrong, it still looks nice. But I'm frustrated for you guys, that's all. Starting to get a little snow falling again in this direction. I don't know if you can see, but it's starting to snow again. These clouds are gonna engulf that blue sky in just a moment. It's, it's amazing how fast the clouds just come rolling in up here. of you who I was worried about coming up here this morning telling you guys like please be extra 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 cautious and blah 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 and like I'll bet I I even convinced some people to not even come because or at least postpone in a day and I really hope you know if you did listen to me I hope you're not upset with me because all I was doing was just looking out for you relaying to you what I believe is the true forecast I'm only trying to help I'm, I'm not trying to screw up anybody's plans but yeah I'll be willing to bet we get maybe another inch or two out of the rest of the snowfall for this week. So the possibility of that three feet, no, no chance. Now we're gonna take this back road to a street called Edgemore to buy, to cut off a lot of Big Bear Boulevard, just to get a different perspective. I mean, that is beautiful out there, I'll tell you that. But it's so irritating. Should have a straight shot now. Traffic doesn't look nearly as bad as I anticipated either, guys. So that's a good sign because it's already 11. Usually by now, it's it's pretty bad. A little bit earlier usually is worse, but it's, it's pretty bad right now. Or it's, it's not it's not bad right now. Once again, guys, the further we go this direction, the more snow we will come into, but it's not going to be much. I really thought we were going to get something good last night when I went out and made that, that snow video.
kiddos. They're doing a little, little playing in the in the sleet and slush. Not sleet. I don't know why I keep on saying sleet. This was actually the first storm this season that I noticed didn't have any sleet associated. It was just rain and snow. So here we go, we made that shortcut. We're on a streak, we're turning left on Edgemore now. Very nice. coming up to Big Bear Boulevard and we're gonna head back down the boulevard. Usually this is the street we take to get to where we just came from because of all the traffic on Big Bear Boulevard, but there's just, at least it didn't appear to be as much traffic, even though these guys are going super slow. We'll see, we'll see here. It doesn't look too, too shabby. <laughs> folks. snow here so that is good and when the snow picks up later I will definitely be back out recording I know these drives get redundant you guys but it's a small town and because of some traffic over here, we are gonna have to go through the village to avoid some of it, but that's okay. Here's the Alpine slide, you guys. That's a good place to go sledding. It's, you pay to go sledding here, and they've got like a electric walking path that pulls you up to the top, so you don't have to worry about hiking up to the top every single time you sled down. just allows it so so your kids can have a lot more fun without being so tired <clears throat> and that 
some point today I'm going to have to go to the car wash and clean out everything between my tires. Because there's something rubbing. It's just a lot easier doing it that way. It's cool because our car wash uses like warm water. So it helps melt the snow as well. It's really smart. said so we are going to pass through the village we're not going to have to take our shortcut I don't think while we're in the village I got shortcuts galore so we're looking forward to that to not having to take the shortcut so you guys can see how pretty it looks We might have to take the shortcut now that I'm thinking about it, now that I'm looking up here. This place always looks really, really pretty when there's snow here. It's so pretty. Yep, so we are going to take the little shortcut so we don't have to deal with all this traffic all the way to the stop sign. So we turn right here at Oakside. As you enter the village from the, from the back end. And you just go through the parking lot and take the back street parallel to Village Drive. Watch, you'll see. You'll see how amazing this is. turn right here and we're already through it we'd still be at least halfway back there so at least we we'll want to deal with that You know, we could probably, uh, we're just gonna go down here. We're not gonna need to take the whole back, back roads. So we're gonna go back to Big Bear Boulevard right now and head back to the Moon Ridge area and we will be done with the video. Once again, just super, super sorry. I mean, I know it's not my fault. I got a friend of mine a snowplow job through our rental company who I rent my house through because the other company was kind of dropping the ball and so I got him a new job and he was really looking forward 
to starting on all the properties today, but they don't go out unless it's six inches or more to go plow people's driveways. That was quite unfortunate. I feel bad for him. Building a snowman might be kind of interesting in this snow. I know snowballs will probably be pretty good. They'll probably hurt <laughs> in this snow. nice to go grab a bite to eat right now take the wife out to breakfast or a late breakfast but what we are going to do is take the last little bit on the back streets here so this is called thrush drive take that to Brownie Lane and we turn left here on Brownie. It really is beautiful though. I mean, it really is gorgeous, you guys, but still. When there's a lot more snow, it's so much more pretty. At least a lot of the snow stuck to the trees. I mean, that really makes the sight for me. When we have the big snowfalls, you guys, you can't see any green or brown on these trees. All you see is white. And it's just awesome. Expect this. I thought all of our spare parking lots would be full today. Well, anyway, guys, that's what's going on in Big Bear. Hope you all had a great New Year's Eve. Hope none of you are uh, recovering too hard right now. Hope you all got good rest, and uh, I wish you all the most amazing 2023. I hope you um, live up to all your New Year's resolutions, and I just hope everyone has a successful 2023. Take care, you guys, and we will go back out shortly. I love you all very much. Talk to you later. Bye.